Hi, I'm Warren Szymanski, curator of the Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're seven decks down at the bow of the ship. Forward of me, on the other side of this bulkhead, is the peak tank, the forwardmost part of the ship, traditionally filled with fresh water in order to add some weight to the bow of the ship. I'm standing on top of the double bottom. Beneath me is another freshwater tank, and beneath that is the Delaware River. Iowa class battleships have a triple body. That means that there's three layers of steel with two tanks in between. Some of these tanks hold fresh water, some hold seawater, and some hold fuel oil. It helps it absorb the impact of the explosion underneath of the ship. The triple bottom primarily protects the armored citadel of the ship. This far forward, we only have a double bottom. For reference, Titanic only had a double bottom. I am as deep in an ion class battleship as you can get. Right now, I'm hugging a sounding tube used to check the level of the tank beneath me. There's no access point to that tank from where I am. Iowa class battleships are made out of galvanized steel. The zinc coating on the steel is a protective barrier. The zinc will sacrifice itself for the armor plate when corrosion is occurring. The problem, though, is you need to use a special primer to get paint to adhere to the steel, and that does not seem to be the case down here. Whichever non-rate was sent down in this hole to paint um, didn't do a good job, and it doesn't look like anyone ever inspected it. So here we are 30 years later with a fair amount of uh, paint peeling, but that original galvanized coating is still protecting our steel. I'm not letting the ship's break. This part of the ship required a lot of strength, but it also needed a lot of weight saving because of how little buoyancy there is in the narrow bow of the ship. So you'll notice that even though there are ship bulkheads all around here, They've had parts removed in order to save weight. The steel is also much thinner than other parts of the ship. At best, it's 3 8 mild steel, where most of the framing of the ship is 5 8 special treatment steel or better. Now we've gone from as far forward as we can go on the seventh deck back up to the second deck. Below me is the main deck and fresh air. Here, under the hole nose, we're as far forward from the ship as is possible, still being inside of the ship. In fact, we're forward in frame zero. Remember to check back in next week for more content. And like, share, and subscribe.